what's going on? This is Maximum Pop Books. Uh, it's Luke and Morgan Batters here. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm so good. How are you? Good. Yes, very well, thank you. Um, here we are holding the unexpected everything. It's a beautiful cover. Look at that. Ooh. And there's a dog on the back. And there's a dog on the back. A lot of dogs <laughs> for an hour, which I approved of highly. Um, so I've heard you being referred to as the Queen of Summer Contemporary. That's Those, very nice. I've heard I it thrown around. I, well, I will try and I will try and wear my crown, uh, you know, well. Good. Yeah, I'm <laughs> good. Okay, so um, sell it to us. Imagine I've walked into a bookshop, I've seen this on the shelf, and I've gone, that looks interesting. Yeah. So uh, this is a book about a 17-year-old girl named Andy who has always planned everything out in her life. She likes to have everything organized, she likes to have a plan. Her father is a politician, so she's always been very aware of anything she says, anything she posts online, on social media. Any misstep could sort of hurt his career. Mm -hmm. So she's got her whole summer all planned out, she's got this prestigious internship, she wants to be a doctor, she's got everything figured out. But right before the summer begins, her father gets involved in a scandal. Mm -hmm. And so suddenly her internship is gone, you know, all the good jobs have been taken, all the good internships are gone. Um, and her dad's back home living with her in the same house, which really hasn't happened in the last five years. Um, but, you know, she begins to think maybe things aren't that bad. She gets to hang out with her three best friends, she gets a job walking dogs, she meets a boy named Clark, and things start to look up. So she begins to have sort of this most unexpected summer where it's about scavenger hunts and too many emojis and diner breakfasts and uh, beginning to fall in love for the first time. Um, but sort of the question remains, even as she's having this amazing summer, is, you know, is she really going to be able to let go of her need to plan everything out? And what is going to happen when this very unexpected summer comes to an end? Yes. So that is the unexpected everything. Nice. Very yeah. good, good tease. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that kind of, kind of theme of her being careful about, you know, uh -huh. what she's posting and that sort of stuff is, is very current now. Yeah. Yeah. Was that something you thought about that you wanted to... It was. Again? So yeah, I was in, I was on book tour in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. and I think I was just thinking about sort of what it would be like to grow up in this town. Like what it would be like to grow up with a parent as a politician and always being aware of everything and because I feel like in America we see that all the time someone's son posts something on Facebook and it's like a national news story yeah and it's it's you and know, for everyone not just yeah exactly Harvard, yeah. yeah and it's just you know that um, and I, I the kids of politicians are always fascinating to me because you're such a part of the package you know uh -huh. what I mean it's like you're in the advertisements and you're in the campaign ads and you know it's in the commercials and everything it's like I'm such a good family person but you know they didn't ask to be a part of this and so it's like you're sort of pulled in against yeah. your will so I was always sort of fascinated by that yeah. it's an interesting life yeah it's a bit of a paradox yeah, yeah. Okay. and uh, yeah tell us, uh, tell us about Andy Clark's kind of um, relationship -y, friendship -y So that was super on. fun. Uh -huh. People got mad at me because in all my other books, like the characters get together on the last page yeah. and then they kiss and then the book ends and everyone was like, come on! And <laughs> so um, I really wanted to write about a relationship. So um, you get to see their relationship. I mean, yeah. they don't just get together at the end, no spoilers. Um, so it was it was really fun to write about, you know, two people together in a relationship, you know, and then, you know, having problems, having issues, working through them or not, and, yeah. you know, so, so that was super fun. And it was fun to write sort of kind of the last person she thought she would end up with, but who turns out to be the best person mm -hmm. for her. It's quite real yeah. and how sometimes that happens. Exactly, life, right? exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Cool, okay. Uh, talk to us about the dogs throughout the book as well, oh, because the uh, they're important. I the feel like that's a genre are, in itself. The dogs are very important. Yeah, YA dog and based. And like, how cute are these dogs? Um, <laughs> is that so yes. an obsession of yours? Or? Well, so here's the thing. So I have a dog, and I was looking for a job for her that would... That I wanted it to seem like she wouldn't be impressed with it. Like, she thought it would be... She wanted a prestigious job to put on her applications for university, and... Um, and the only job she could find, but I didn't know what that job was going to be. So I'd be walking my dog mm -hmm. and I'd be like, what could her job possibly be as I walk my dog? And That's so dumb. one day I was like, it could be this. She could literally do the thing that nice. I'm doing right now. Um, so that was so fun. I had so much fun writing about the dogs and it was definitely, you know, because I have a dog and my dog had a dog walker. So I sort of would, you know, grill her about how it all worked. Uh -huh. and, um, and it was just so fun to write about them because they do become their own characters. Yeah. And, uh, um, and so they can't speak, so is it easier to... to exactly, write exactly. Harder? Although yeah. sometimes you sort of, you're trying to convey what the dog is doing, uh -huh. and it is complicated because you sort of are, you're having to describe all how they're moving, and, yeah. uh, but it was, it was a lot of fun to write the dogs, and, uh, you know, they do begin to take on their own personality. Yeah, and, that's yeah. what I sort of found, and yeah, yeah. I think that's a cool little twist. Um, is there a scene or, um, part of the book you, you wrote that you're super, super proud of, that you remember really vividly? Yes. Kind of yeah. So, what my favourite scene in the book, there's a scavenger scavenger hunt scene and um, when I was writing it I was like I was getting close to writing it and I really wanted to write it I was so excited about it but I was like I think this is gonna get cut it's like a 50 page scene where they go on this big scavenger hunt and I was like it does I like I just feel like it's gonna get cut but I, I had to do it I love this scene so much and I wrote it 
And then when I talked to my editor afterwards, I was like, you're probably gonna cut the scavenger hunt. And he's like, that's the most important scene in the book. Yes, good so, answer. and it was just so fun to like come up with the things they're searching for and then to like send everyone off in a million directions. Uh -huh. And people are trying to sabotage the other team because they're trying to win. And I just had so much fun writing that that whole sequence of, of events. It's my favorite part of the book. I love that. Awesome. Yeah. All right, good to know. Um, okay, well, congratulations with everything as you. well. Um, go and get it, you can get it right now. Um, talk to us about your new project as well. Same yes, thing. so my new book is called Save the Date. It's coming out in May mm -hmm. in the States. So I think it's probably coming out in uh, around May or Similar in the springtime. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it is about a girl named Charlie who is the youngest of five siblings. She's the only one still left at home and she's preparing to go to university in the fall. Um, and her oldest sister is getting married in the house. Uh, so it all takes place over a weekend um, in which everything that could possibly go wrong with this wedding goes wrong. Okay. And she's trying to make it this perfect event and, um, you know, get everything, all her siblings are going to be back, she's trying to make everything work out. And of course, you know, everything's There's falling apart. Twists. There's some twists. There's, uh, you know, the, the wedding coordinator's nephew turns out to be very cute and there's sort of another boy in the mix and uh, she's trying to hold everything together and there's an unexpected dog and the weather is not cooperating and the band is playing all the wrong songs and the guests are fighting and so it's just sort of wedding fun family Controlled craziness chaos, yeah. exactly. everyone loves that yeah That's exactly so, how many dogs are in the new book just uh, one just the one just the one okay. but he's an unexpected dog he, no one was planning on him being there and suddenly right. he's there so uh so that's a lot of fun to, to get to do as well yeah awesome all right looking forward to that thank you very much i'm gonna take thank a you high five this Boom, is done. awesome. Um, hit the thumbs up, make sure you like this video. Uh, you can check out the other videos. We play some games. We'll pop them down below. And um, yeah, go and get it. We'll see you soon. Bye.